Hello guys and welcome back to the CryEngine 3 SDK tutorial series and in this video I'm going to be doing something a little different it's going to be fairly more advanced than what I usually go over but yet again I'm not really going to necessarily be teaching you anything I'm more or less going to be introducing you to a system which in this video is the flow graph system uh, the flow graph system itself is very similar to Kismet so it's fairly easy to use uh, so let's get let's go ahead unlike uh, in Unreal's development kit you can't necessarily just click a button and go straight to the flow graph system so to get to it it's somewhat more difficult uh, in here in CryEngine uh, scripts are pretty much held within objects so it has to have an object to have a script rather than just being world based so I'm just going to go ahead and create the first thing I can think of which will hold a flow graph bear in mind this isn't the only thing that holds flow graphs uh, but for now I'm going to be using an area trigger we've got a few other ones here we've got proximity triggers uh, that will pretty much go off based on if there's an enemy uh, around you or something like that cinematic tri trigger but you don't really need to worry about these. So I'm just going to drag it in straight here. Then I'm going to right click on it and press create flow graph. I'm not going to put it any, in any specific group. You can do if you want just to make your script a little more organized. Um, okay, let's go. So you can see we've got our little flow graph interface here. I'm just going to make it the full screen for now. But, okay, oh crap, there we go. Uh, it's not working. Okay, there should be plenty of there should be plenty of space here. So uh, you can just add in little nodes from the left. You've got your flow gra different types of flow graphs down here in the bottom left, and then you've got your your components or nodes as I like to call them on the top in the top left. You've got play, pause, and all that cool stuff up here. So let's just quickly take a look through what we've got here. We've got a whole bunch of different options and things we can play around with such as system we have save game so let's say I was to hook up our trigger uh, and we, we, we could make it save but we're not going to do that and then just going to show you a few things for now we've got set we can save the game we can set console variables I'm not going to go into that checkpoint system so we can have certain uh, so, you know certain checkpoints around the level so it saves at a certain point also you go back there upon respawning we've got a few other things such as music I may go into these a little bit in my sound tutorial however I don't have that plan we've got volume, end theme, logic control, logic you don't need to worry about any of these really apart from volume yeah pretty much just volume uh, for now maybe a couple of other things but most importantly just volume it's going to allow you to change the volume up and down fade in, fade out and just random stuff like that. Also, you will generally you'll generally have the ability to make your nodes smaller. I just wanted to point that out so you can make them nice and clean. Also, you can zoom in and out of your flow graph just to move around things. Multiplayer. We've got. Actually, I'm not going to bother about that. We do have a uh, game type and multiplayer. But I'm not going to go into that. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, mini map, you know, we've got entity position. That's pretty much going to show uh, where a certain object is in relativity to the mini map. Not going to go into that. Player position and map info. Also, we've got a cool other things here. We've got a few UI related items down the bottom here. We've got movie clips. Uh, some of you that have watched a few of my uh, UI related tutorials you have a basic understanding of what some of these mean so you can show different layers you can display items uh, they should you should be able to play around with images you can draw them onto the screen and a few other things okay also down here we've got weapons you can make something fire uh, based on uh, a trigger so I could play around with an AI entity that I've placed into the flow graph system and I can make them fire. So let's say I have my proximity trigger, if something goes near it, it will fire based on proximity. So the second he walks in, he's going to get a cap in his ass. Stop fire, start fire, target, 
so you can choose exactly who it is and you have an ID. I'm not going to go into that into too much detail, but you should have the basics. So, uh, what I really want you guys to do for now is, it's pretty much somewhat homework, I guess. It's just play around with the entities, see if you can hook it up into the flow graph system, and see what you can create with it. Try around with things such as sound, uh, AI, and yeah, generally AI, because I want to cover that in a little more detail further in the series. So... That's generally all I want to uh, do in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to get that homework done. I will see you next time, which will be... I don't know. But it will be within this month, for sure.